I've had to rethink my training efforts over the last few weeks because a nagging finger injury has stopped me from climbing as often as usual. To keep my training momentum going, I stepped up my work at the gym. I realised it could be fun to share some of the weights exercises that I use to improve my climbing. So I met up with my friend, Paddy, who's the co-owner at the Crunch Gym in Meanwood. Paddy coaches, runs, climbs and lifts heavy, and he's a big advocate for using weight movements to improve your climbing. In this first episode, Paddy runs through five exercises which help to strengthen your back for climbing. Yes, this is a bent over barbell row. We're going to start by doing quite a narrow grip on this one here. So Nathan, if you want to take control of the bar. So keeping a nice flat back, making sure he pulls up carefully and under control. Yep, nice narrow grip on this one. We'll come to that a bit more in a second. So stand up as you would normally all the way up to the top. Good. Now keeping a nice tight back, not allowing it to round. Send your hips backwards. Good. You can bend your knees a tiny bit if you need to. Now I want you to do is I want you to bring your elbows back in a circular motion so they just come to the very bottom of your rib cage. Good. That's one repetition. Let's go again. Go for three or four more. Two. Good. Keeping a nice solid position, not losing any of this back tension. Squeezing through the lats, not allowing the elbows to come out or up. Yep, that'll do. Half of that. Yeah. Like many climbers, I used to work mostly on pulling exercises with my arms above my head, like pull-ups. But Paddy pointed out that a lot of climbing movements require our arms to be out in front of us or out to our sides. So we need to train our backs through all of these different movements. The exercises we're working on in the gym are really good replications of the types of movement you might find on overhanging climbs or boulders with sideways holds. This exercise is a slight variation on the barbell row. We're going to use dumbbells and we're going to go wider. So before we had almost as close as our chest, we're now going to go slightly wider. We're going to turn our hands out so we can send our elbows out and squeeze our shoulder blades together a bit more. So like, once again, I'm going to take control. I'm going to bend over, keep my hips back. I've slightly turned them out from there. So I'm here, I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to pull out. I find that training with weights is super useful because you can see and plan your progression between sessions so easily. Yep, quite a bit wider. I've got almost a 45 kind of degree angle in my elbows. I could essentially go back to the position I was in. This is the same as the same as the barbell row, but I've got a neutral grip, or I could go straight over and out. But we're going to go for this middle one here. This next exercise, the reverse fly, is more of a fixing position, Nathan. As we look, Nathan here, typical climber, slightly rotated shoulder to shoulders, just exaggerate that into there. Bit of a hunch, may have seen this before. We have a weakness here down the shoulder blades. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try and help him get that nice tall posture. The rhomboids are the tiny muscles that pull your shoulder blades together. So what we're gonna do is a reverse fly. These can be done, this can be done with dumbbells or simply just with plates. A lot of the time, the muscles are so small, they need a very low load to make sure they do the movement and not anything else. So with as straight arms as he can, again, this bent over position, he's just gonna open his arms up, squeeze his shoulder blades at the top for almost a one or a two count, just to make sure he's got it and come back in. These are very small muscles and the body will try to help you by not doing the movement. So things that will happen, his arms will start going backwards down his body, or he'll start bending his arms, or his chest will start to come up and it'll become more of a lateral raise. It's really important you take your time, get as much of it as he's knackered. It's very important you get as much of a bend over as possible and stay rigid through that movement. Although technique and finger strength are really important too, I can definitely see that improving my basic strength carries over to climbing, and I'm certain that it's helped build a resilience to injury. The 
These next two exercises are two staples in my weights routine. So Nate, what I want you to do is I want you to push your chest up as high as you can as you go, head back. Now keep your elbows so they're out and keep your forearms vertical all the way. See how you've rotated? Yeah, do you feel that difference? You're yeah. pinching more than lats. The climbers love to use pull-ups. I find a lat pull-down gives you far more options because you can vary the weight um, without having to, well, without having to use a band, which doesn't give you a lot of choice. This you can increment in seven kilos. If you can't manage a pull-up, this is a great way to get started. It's also a great way to make sure you stay in the right position at all times and use your lats by keeping those elbows nice and tight. Mm -hmm. Making sure you keep your forearms vertical and pulling into just about where your collarbone is without varying it up. You definitely feel it. Like it's so much better, isn't it? And instead of being like that, tucking the elbow. This next exercise isn't strictly a back movement, it's more of a rotator cuff, but it's great for stabilising and pulling through further. So Nathan's got his shoulders up against the wall, his hips up against the wall, and his elbow very tight to the wall. He can't move in any other way. He's just going to push his wrist up, rotating through his rotator cuff until he reaches the wall. It's exceptionally painful due to the weakness in this shoulder. Good. <laughs> Great position. Now, as Nathan gets tired, He'll try and move his wrist to touch the wall earlier so he hasn't got to rotate as much. He'll start twisting his shoulders and hips away so he doesn't have to. It's very important you readjust, stay tight, and don't allow anything else but the rotator cuff to do the work. It's about 90 degrees through there as well. Pretty much exactly that, yeah. I would keep this weight exception. I keep this weight very low. This is a 1.25 kilogram plate. It doesn't really need to go much higher than that. Yeah. <laughs> Happy? Right. The one thing that Paddy loves more than back exercises are hip exercises. So our next session is going to cover some of his favourite ways to improve your single leg strength. And you might be surprised how important that can be for climbing. 